Hello kindergartners, welcome to Math Lab. Today we're going to use all the strategies we've learned so far to solve some addition problems. So let's dig right in. Read with me. This says 4 plus 3 equals what? Alright, so if we want to use the number frame, we can go this way. 1, 2, 3, four which is four plus three one two three all right so when we if we want to use the counting all strategy we can just fill since none of them has up to ten frame filled up we can just do this and now we can count all together so count with me one two three four five six seven so four plus three is seven let me record that before we continue so I can record that by writing four plus three equals what so we can still write it's the same as three plus four right so when we worked it out what did we get we saw that four plus three equals seven that also means that three plus four equals seven when well, we just count it all right so we just recorded our work let's take another example What if we have 5 plus 5? What if we have 5 plus 5? We will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the number 5 plus 5. 1, two three four five all right so five plus five if we want to use the counting all we could move the five here to join the five here in this ten frame so if we move it one two three four Five. Now we have the whole 10 frame failed. So 5 plus 5 is 10. We can count all together to cross check our answer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 plus 5 is 10. If we want to use the counting on strategy, this is what it's going to be. So we know we have five, we keep that five in our heads and we count on. So we count five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means we have this five, but we are not starting from one because we are counting on. That's another strategy for counting. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's try another strategy. What if we wanted to use the number line strategy? What if we wanted to use the number line strategy? And we have 5 plus 5. How are we going to do that? We're going to pick the number 5, find where it is on the number line. And we are going to hop how many times? 5 times. So we hop from 5. We will hop 1 two three four five and we landed on ten so that means five plus five is ten 
pause go over this whole video and then come back and let's do some work all right welcome back so let's say you have five plus eight equals what let's see if we can use all of our strategies let's start by trying the counting all together strategy so this become one two three four five and this is eight we count one two three four five six seven eight to help us find the answer to this question if we want to use the counting all strategy that means we put it all together and count since addition says put together so we'll count and see what we got by putting five and eight together so we count all together so let's count count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so five plus eight all together is 13. How do we write 13? This is how we write 13. 10 and three more makes 13. Let's say we want to use a different strategy. We want to use the 10 frame strategy. What are we going to do? All right, so we're using the 10 frame. So this is five, one, two, three, four, five. Represents this number five. Five cubes to represent the number five. Eight, how many cubes will we use to represent the number eight? Of course, it's eight. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, those two numbers, which one is bigger? Eight, we know it's bigger than five. So if we want to use the counting on strategy, we keep eight in our heads. So we know this is eight and we count on from eight. So from eight, what is the next number? Is nine. So that means eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that gives us 13. Of course, you could decide to keep the five in your head instead and count on from five. Counting on just means you're not starting from one. You have a number in your head and you are continuing from that number. All right, so this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that is counting on. When you keep a number in your head and you count, you continue from that number, from the next number all the way to the end of how many objects you have. We could also try to make a 10 so that will help us to count easily. So to make a 10, what we will do is we'll fill one 10 frame and we know that is 10, then we know how many more to count. So if we have having five plus eight, we could fill up this 10 frame. So that gives us 10 and how many more? Three, so 10, 11, 12, 13. So we know 10 and three more is 13. So we could count all together, or we could count on, or we could make a 10 to make the counting easy. Now I'm going to give you your own work, and you're going to do this and send it to me. Okay, so pause, take a look at everything, and then let's continue. Welcome back. So these are the problems you're going to solve and send me your answers from home, okay? So we're going to have 5 plus 5 equals what? 
So if I was doing this, I would have one, two, three, four, five, and I would have one, two, three, four, five. And then to find out, I could use any strategy. For me, the strategy I will use is filling up the 10 frame. And then using that to help me answer the question. So that means this is how I expect you to model it. So you draw to show what your answer is, right? So here, my five plus five is 10, because we see the whole 10 frame is full and there's nothing left to add to it, right? All right, so now you go ahead. Your first question is going to be four plus nine equals, hmm. Sometimes you may need to draw one more 10 frame. Why? Because over here you can see you just need to move one in here and what will be left. So if you need to show that, you might need to draw ten, two 10 frames to show your answer, okay? So you'll be creative. Um, the next one is 1 plus 2 equals, hmm, you're going to use your 10 frame or any other strategy to give me the answer. All right, let me give you a few more and then you will do it and send it to me, okay? So here you will have, hmm, plus hmm, equals, hmm, you determine what that is, okay? Another one is going to be hmm plus hmm equals hmm. You are going to determine what that answer is going to be. So I'm not giving you the numbers because I expect you to count and see how many and then use it, okay? Another one is going to be hmm plus hmm equals hmm. All right, so you go ahead, do all of this, and bring it back. This number is six, six plus seven. This number is 10 plus 8. This number is 4 plus 3. All right, I look forward to seeing your work soon. God bless you. Bye for now.